welcome back to the channel we are going to do some DIYs so I'm taking this previously purchased book hidden storage whatever and I'm going to add some bling to it so I found this glitter wrap paper or foil paper at my local Walmart store in the crafting department so I'm just going to use that to cover this pre-existing cover that's already on this particular item and I'm going to use my glue gun and I'm also using E6000. This is my first time doing anything like this as far as using the glue gun. I've always been a crafter and love making new things so that part of it is not a challenge for me using that glue gun was a bit challenging because I kept burning myself okay so just put that out there make sure you be careful with that glue gun because it is truly hot okay and so what I'm doing is just going in and just laying everything flat all around the item just to make sure I don't get any bubbles or anything like that I do have to let you know also that that glue does dry pretty quickly so you may have to work a little bit faster than normal but and that was a challenge too because I, I wanted to have more time so that I can stretch the material because it does stretch but I did make it through some parts I didn't get through or couldn't show you but um, for the most part I did show you most of it and so here I'm just going through putting the hot glue on it and then stretching that material so that it is going to lay as flat as possible. This is the part here where I wanted to have more time, but I was able to go ahead and smooth it out as much as possible. I'm going to add another layer of that glitter paper or material, I should say. Here, I was going to see if I could just continue the flow of it, but I found that it was going to be better if I just go ahead and move it down and then around to the front part of that book. So here we are and I just flipped it over so I'm just going to take that and stretch that over that other material just so that it's kind of seamless underneath. I know no one's going to see it under there but I still would rather it be a seamless process so go ahead and put the glue here and filming this and doing a DIY is like really challenging for me it's something that's totally different than what I'm used to doing my makeup but I had fun it was something that I wanted to share with you guys just so you know you might have the same ideas and not sure how to go about it so hopefully this video will help you now that part don't worry about because we are going to put some bling bling on there and cover up that seam so we're just going through and covering everything I thought about covering that go part but I said, you know what, that might be cute to kind of leave it there and let that have, let it have that contrast between the glitter and that gold. So the gold being the, the faux pages. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and leave that there and just glue this part down. This too was a challenging part, so you won't see me get through this part either. Cause I had to turn the camera off and get busy <laughs> with this part because it was it was really challenging
had to use the scissors to make sure I didn't burn myself. So now here we are, made it through, and I'm just taking these rhinestones that I picked up from Walmart as well, and I just went through and just placed those down. Now, I will give you a tip on this part. Make sure you either use the 6,000 glue or the hot glue to get this part down because the adhesive that is already attached to the rhinestone is not going to be strong enough for longevity. So I'm, I already know I'm going to end up having to go back and use the hot glue gun or the E6000. I'll probably opt with the glue gun. Please pardon my nails. <laughs> they look horrendous. But hey, this is real, okay? I ain't putting on no airs for nobody. This is what it do. And as you can see, I did go ahead and put some of those rhinestones down at the bottom of that uh, folk book page area. And I did that, I think I did that on the bottom and on the top. I, I did. I did do that. Alright guys, we're done and here is the final look of everything. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next DIY video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon, Fancy Beauties and Bows.